Good morning, YouTube. Oh, how original. You're going to use something from pop culture. How about using a phrase that's more current? What's up, you beautiful bastards? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I don't get it. What's that from? Philip D. Franco. Phil D. what? Is that like Kermit D. Frog? First of all, it's Kermit the Frog. And no, it's Philip DeFranco. What's uh, DeFranco? DeFranco is his last name. I am, if I am not mistaken, his name was formed during a time when people used to use it to tell you where they came from. I believe his name means of France or from France. France, huh? So, he is a frog. Yeesh. I'm supposed to be the evil one and even I wouldn't go there. He's a very popular social media news personality on YouTube. Can't be that popular. I'd never heard of him. That's because you've been sunning your brain in Mexico for the past ten years. Hey, my chrome dome reflects 90% of all harmful UV rays. I don't even need sunscreen. That explains a ton. Shall we get to the headlines? Just following your lead, Clown Prince. God, I hate you. Why anyone thought we should be teamed up is beyond me. I, uh, I think they thought we'd make a dynamic duo. <laughs> well, you do remind me of the boy blunder. But we are nothing like any dynamic duo. You don't have to tell me twice. Finally, something I don't have to explain to you. Well, the first headline we have is Donald Trump is being blasted by members of the legislature because he's blasting the media. Seems like a violent time in D.C. <laughs> Say, didn't you have trouble with the media? The media? Bunch of low-life scum, if you ask me. They do something good, they tear you down. You do something great, they tear you down. It didn't matter how amazing I was, they always criticized me. Mean Gene was never as mean to me as the media was. Yes, it's true. Even with all the capers I've committed, they never seem to paint the right picture. Of course, most of their stories are more story than fact these days. You watch a read because of a headline, and 95% of it ends up having nothing to do with what brought you in in the first place. And the 5% that does isn't even a reality of what the headline suggests. I, uh, I believe they call it clickbait. My God! God! Something intelligent just came out of your mouth! It's, uh, it's because they are fishing to give an analogy to get more people to watch or read their articles because they make more money from ad revenue. It's like a switch was turned on in that sun-ripened brain of yours. Fascinating. And then that same media won't report the truth about aliens and what really happened on 9-11. Well, that was fun while it lasted. On to the next topic. Wells Fargo has been charging people twice on their bills in New Jersey. People still live in New Jersey? I'm as shocked as you are. I think New Jersey is for the people who want to be close to New York without actually having to live there. Well, that explains Wells Fargo, then. They're just trying to show them how much it would cost if they did live in New York. I can't imagine why anyone would want to live in either of those places. I much prefer Gotham. Sure, we have our problems and our vigilante do-gooders, but our politicians and businesses are corrupt, honestly. They don't try to sneak it past anyone like these fools. Isn't... Gotham just a ripoff of New York City? That's just blasphemy. Why, our city is as old as America itself, founded by the richest, most power-hungry people on the planet. <laughs> and some of them still rule today. 
Like the uh, Rothschilds and the uh, Rockefellers? Amateurs. Did they have their own secret society, like the Court of Owls? Uh, if they did, they'd have been uh, smart enough to not let anyone know that it existed, like you apparently know about this uh, Court of Owls, or uh, whatever that is. Yeah, touche. On that note, I think we'll end the show here. And remember, if you like our show, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. <laughs>